Do you think that any woman who gets pregnant and does not want to continue that pregnancy, do you believe now that abortions should be completely illegal? Or do you see that there are any reasons that uh, some women might still, in your opinion, obtain an abortion by a doctor rather than a quack or as a result of a coat hanger or whatever else? Now, these are legitimate questions. Let me respond to them. Right. Abortion. Now, let me turn to the question of rape. You see, the problem here is we have a child, a fetus or a person, created under circumstances which are tragic, no question. But those circumstances should not stigmatize the life of that child. I put it to you that not every one of us were conceived in the most ideal circumstances. And in fact, many of us, unknowingly or not, may in fact have been conceived in an act of rape. Yet, that should never stigmatize our lives. We were innocent. Why should we be destroyed? Or, let me finish. Now, third to thing. Let me finish, please. Wait a minute. Wait, let, me, wait, let me finish, please. Finish, Dr. Paul. Right. The third problem is that unwanted pregnancy, there is no question, is a compelling, difficult social issue. But it demands social solutions. It is as inappropriate to cope with this particular social problem, with a destructive surgical means, as it would be to treat violent criminals with lobotomy or rapists with surgical castration. Those are social problems as well. We do not treat them with violent surgical means. Should we, should we still return to the 19th century practice of treating uh, chronic masturbators with vasectomy, as was done? Do you now, wait a minute, let me finish, please. Now, wait a minute, let me finish, please. Vexing social problems call for imaginative and humane social responses, not surgical holocausts.